The dispatch inactive driver, carrier, trailer, and truck pages make it really easy to go in and find drivers or carriers or pieces of equipment that are currently not active in the system or haven't done any work for a while. This can be useful if you're paying insurance policies on equipment that you want to make sure get deactivated in appropriate amounts of time, or if you have uh, drivers or carriers that you've been creating settlements for, or doing withholdings for, that you don't want to do that anymore. Uh, pretty useful just to keep track of equipment or anything else that isn't being used. So in order to use this page, when you pull it up there on any of these tabs is the uh, option to click on this blue load inactive drivers list. And if I do that, it's going to go in and look for any drivers that may or may not be uh, inactive. And in this case, I don't think I have any drivers, but I do have some trucks and trailers which work pretty much the same. So if I come in here and load my trailers list, you'll see that I have two trailers that have no tickets done on them at all. So these are import, test, and test trailers. So that makes sense why they wouldn't have any loads on them. But uh, once you're in here, you can go in and view the uh, truck or trailer, the last ticket they completed, which in this case there won't be any, so this page is going to kind of just sit and spin since there aren't any and uh, the ability to edit them and deactivate the uh, trailer if it's no longer uh, been working for you. So we're gonna go ahead and deactivate the uh, test trailer right here. So we'll inactivate it and we'll say that it went out of service on the first. So you can see now on this page that we have recently deactivated that test trailer. The uh, trucks page works pretty much the same where you can see trucks that haven't had any uh, work done with them in a, in a while. So we have the import and the test truck, as well as this other truck that hasn't done any work recently. Uh, there is this banner up here that says, you know, be careful because these drivers may currently be in the onboarding process and haven't started, which is why they don't have any tickets. So you want to make sure you know what you're doing when you delete them. That could be the case with this uh, truck right here. And uh, carriers works pretty much the exact same way. You can pull carriers that haven't had any tickets or haven't done anything in a while. And right here we have a bunch of tests or imports, which makes sense why they haven't had any tickets because they're not real accounts. But uh, yeah, you have the same ability to go ahead and inactivate any of these carriers so they won't be showing up in your accounting system. And uh, if you wanted to you know, edit and reactivate them, that's pretty easy as well. But uh, kind of just a page here that's designed to make it straightforward to go in and track down any just kind of forgotten equipment drivers, companies that I kind of want to just clean out of your system and make sure that you're not um, wasting resources on generating bills and things like that for them. So yeah, pretty useful for uh, that and a few other things like that.